Um, I want to speak briefly about two things. Um, one, why this issue and this research is an important part of the work we are doing at the National Education Policy Center, which is uh, the group that, that contacted Dan and asked him to do this. Um, and the second is, is to talk a little bit about the collaboration um, that we've put together here. The NEPC is housed at the University of Colorado at Boulder, but it's a national organization that draws on expertise of top researchers across the nation. You guys all have little flyers on your, on your chairs. Um, our work is grounded in three main beliefs. First, we believe that policy should be guided by high-quality research. Second, we believe that public schooling plays a vital public interest. And third, we believe that there is a real need for an organization that facilitates the communication of research beyond the usual academic system of researchers talking to other researchers. So each year we put together a package of briefs and other work designed to present high quality research to a wide audience using accessible language and explanations. That's where Dan comes in. Uh, last year we at NEPC decided that we, would, uh, we thought it would be important to take a step back and rethink school discipline policies and ask what the research tells us about sensible and equitable school discipline systems, what they would look like. I've known and admired Dan Nosen's work uh, on this and other issues for a very long time, and knowing in particular that his work is grounded in an encyclopedic knowledge of existing policies as well as research about those policies. So we asked him to do three things. We asked him to explain the research in this area explain the policy recommendations that follow from that research, and then also offer concrete legislative language that would implement um, those recommendations. And the underlying reports uh, available now online, um, and I think we have a few copies here, um, go and do, do all three of those things. Reading Dan's report was startling to me. Um, extremely high numbers of students overall are being pushed out of school for behavior that when I was in school would have resulted at most in a trip to the vice principal's office and a severe scolding. Um, but on top of that, Dan's work documents that students of color, particularly African American males, are disproportionately subjected to this push out discipline. Although our society is more diverse than ever before, schools today are more segregated than they were 30 years ago. It's important to understand the link between diversity, discipline, and academic achievement. The evidence presented by Lawson shows that minority students are treated more harshly when it comes to discipline, and as a result of this harsh treatment, they suffer academically. Being kicked out leads to becoming a dropout. Okay, so let me briefly explain the collaboration here because uh, you'll see a lot of people coming up to the podium. We at, NB at, at NEPC believe very strongly in working with other organizations, particularly those connected closely to the low-income communities and communities of color that are so often targeted by education policies. Too often, well-meaning researchers and policymakers design policy from afar and don't bother to work with those most affected, imposing from the top down rather than building together. That's why we're particularly happy to be working with those um, in the communities through the Annenberg uh, Institute for School Reform and the Dignity in Schools organization which is currently engaged in a national week of action uh, on school push-out issues. 